with uh, Limerick Paralympian uh, Roshini Reen. Roshin, uh, I suppose we're a couple of weeks past the Paralympics at this stage. I mean, it must have been a fantastic event and uh, something you really enjoyed. Uh, yeah, massively. I think you know it really was a dream come true to be able to go. And now, like I'm home a week or two now and looking back, and I'm absolutely delighted with how it went. And yeah, it's something I'll be able to look back on and enjoy. And I really did enjoy it. Like, it was an unbelievable experience. Go going out, what were your goals or ambitions? What did you think was realistic from it? Yeah, going out, I think all, all I wanted to do was give it my best. And if I did that, I'd be happy. The goal was as many PBs and to make as many finals as possible. And I did, I PB'd in most of my events and I made five finals, so yeah, I was really happy with that. It's a very demanding schedule, isn't it, to, do, to swim six events? I mean, uh, you know, over the course of a week or ten days, it, it's, it's very demanding, yeah? Uh, yeah, definitely, I think. Um, I'm still young, so I was able to do that. Um, but yeah, no, it definitely was. Um, it was a lot of racing, but um, yeah, it's just about getting through it. I think one race at a time, that's kind of the way I looked at it. Um, I didn't want to look too far ahead because, yeah, it was a very big, busy schedule. But uh, yeah, it was good. I'm just being part of Team Ireland and, you know, the whole Olympic experience, yeah. Paralympic experience itself, Roshan. What was that like? Oh, you know, being part of Team Ireland was amazing. Like the team, the staff, everyone, they're so supportive. So being a part of a team like that is just it's really good, yeah. And being the youngest member of the team, you know, and obviously the way things have worked out with COVID, it's only a three-year cycle to the next uh, Paralympics in Paris in three years. Are you already looking forward to getting excited about, about that? Oh yeah, for sure. I think that was just, hopefully that was just the beginning. I think, yeah, I was the youngest, um, but three more years to Paris then, I'll be 19 then. Um, so I'll be more experienced then and yeah, hope for the best then. And Roisin, just to me, you're, you're back at school, you're in fifth year, is it in Gael Kalash? Yeah. yeah? In fifth year, um, it's been weird definitely getting back, but um, no, the school has been great. They've been really supportive of me throughout the entire time, and yeah, it's been it's been good to get back and see friends. And have you tapered down training now? Are you back full at it again? Or? Um, no, I'm not back fully yet. Um, it'll be another week, I'd say, um, before I'm back fully, but just trying to get back into it bit by bit. Not doing too much, but just keep that away at the same time. Can you just give us an idea of, of a typical day for you, Roisin? when you're you know you're you're training full on for the paralympics and also combining that with school what, what's that day like yeah so usually i train in the morning for two hours before school and then i do school from nine to four and then i'll usually straight off school then i'll go training again most evenings um, for another two hours sometimes there's some strength conditioning two or three times a week um, and then i suppose home do the homework and get to bed and go again the following day it's fantastic uh, dedication and discipline. It's something you obviously love doing, though. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I don't think you wouldn't be doing it if you didn't love it. Um, but yeah, no, I really do love the sport. I love swimming. So um, yeah, it, it makes it a lot easier and more enjoyable to do. When you're in Tokyo, we're conscious of all the support you had back here. People watching the races live on RTE and people in Limerick Swim Club and the school, your school and everything being, you know, being really behind you. Oh yeah, the support back at home was great, you know, um, staying up late at night to watch my swims and then in the morning as well, but um, yeah, no, the support from my family and my friends and my um, swimming crew and Limerick Swimming Club, you know, it's been really, really good. It's been really amazing. What's your short term goal for 2022? What's on the horizon for you there? Um, well, we have World Championships at the end of this year, so or at the end of this swimming season, so um, that's in June next year. Um, so yeah, I think that's the aim, um, that competition. When you saw you know, the number of medals Ireland managed to win with people maybe who you know, didn't win a medal in the first Paralympics but did manage it with the experience they gained, I'm sure it's a big goal for you, for your Simon Paris, maybe to, to bring home a medal. Oh, for sure. I mean, you know, that's the ultimate dream. Like, um, you know, watching um, Nicole go out and win her first Paralympic medal. Um, and she was young as well when she went to her first Games. You know, it really is inspiring. Um, and yeah, it makes me excited for Paris.